All the top stories and transfer rumors from Wednesday's national newspapers. Daily Telegraph. Manchester United have made an offer to Christian Eriksen as the playmaker weighs up his options this summer only a year after suffering a cardiac arrest. During Denmark's Euro 2020 game against Finland. Transfer Center Live. Transfers. What does your club need? Get Sky Sports. Download the Sky Sports app. Manchester United are keen to sign free agent Christian Eriksen. The Peter Kenyon-led consortium bidding to buy Everton have secured an exclusivity agreement for talks aimed at clinching a deal. Manchester City could raise more than £200 million through sales this year as the Premier League champions shake up their squad in the pursuit of more silverware. British Gymnastics has called a series of meetings with athletes, parents and coaches ahead of the publication of the White Review, dealing with the abuse. Scandal inside the sport, which is expected later this week. Daily Mail. Manchester United could sign both Frenkie de Jong and Christian Eriksen for new manager Eric Ten Hag this summer. Frenkie de Jong has been quoted saying he feels fine at Barcelona, amid Man UTD links. Chelsea are considering a move for goalkeeper Thomas Strakosha on a free transfer should Kepa Aritha Balaga exit Stamford Bridge this summer, according to Leeds United winger Rafinha is reportedly attracting interest from both Arsenal and Tottenham with Barcelona potentially not able to fund a deal this. The Gunners are reportedly interested in signing Rafinha from Leeds. EFL chief Trevor Birch is heavily involved in finding a new buyer for Derby County after Chris Kirkner's bid was formally withdrawn. West Ham face competition from Fiorentina and Porto for the signature of Red Bull Bragantino defender Leo Ortiz, who his Brazilian club won £8 million for. The Sun. Wolves remain confident a deal for Joao Palhinha will get over the line, despite Fulham's late attempts to hijack the deal. West Ham are reportedly interested in signing Ednan Yanuzai from Real Sociedad. Sevilla are privately fuming that big-money Chelsea transfer target Jules Koundé played for France in the Nations League and has since been forced to undergo pelvic surgery on an old injury which flared up again. Manchester United's value has dropped by more than £1.3 billion after shares hit a record low earlier in the week, with their share price nearly halving since a bright start to the 2021-22 season. Daily Mirror. Injuries are apparently the prime reason for why Manchester United star Anthony Marshall failed his loan spell at Sevilla, a club director has revealed. Anthony Marshall made 12 appearances on loan at Sevilla, scoring once. Leeds United will turn their attentions to securing a new striker once the deal with Bayern Munich for midfielder Mark Roca is completed. Daily Star. Manchester United could turn to Tammy Abraham after missing out to Liverpool on Darwin Nunez. Daily Express. Chelsea's hopes of offloading Romelu Lukaku back to Inter Milan have suffered a major blow after the Nerazzurri agreed to sign Paolo Dybala on a free transfer. From Juventus, according to reports. Manchester United are privately concerned over their move for Barcelona midfielder Frenkie de Jong and growing tired of the Catalan club's negotiation. The Times. Pierre Gasly says Formula One bosses need to urgently look at changing rules to prevent cars porpoising or he fears having to walk with a cane by the age of 30. Scottish Sun. Dundee United are set to move for Jack Ross following Tam Court's shock departure. Christian Ramirez could get another chance with Aberdeen next season despite being sent home to the USA before the end of last season by boss Jim Goodwin.